Hello, my amazing friends. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great super long weekend celebrating Memorial Day. Um, we are in the home stretch, you guys. Four days this week, four days next week, and we're done. Can you believe it? I am just like blown away. So let's finish this week strong. Um, and then today we're going to talk about surface area, just like we did last week. Um, but we're going to look at surface area using nets. Instead of like folding the shape up and creating the three-dimensional object, we are going to um, keep it unfolded in a net form and find surface area that way. So learning target is I can find surface area using a net. And then, so when we look at this last week, we just looked at these three numbers that were listed and used um, the top, bottom, front, back, left, right. So today, the difference of what we're going to do is we are going to do the same thing. We're just going to look at the net instead of the three-dimensional object. So when I look at this, first thing that I'm going to do is decide what am I going to call the front, what am I going to call the back, top, bottom, left, right. So it doesn't really matter which you call which it, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to call this the top and then the matching size for this would be here. So that's the top, that's the bottom. Then I'm going to call this the front and this the back and then I'm going to call this left and this right. So I just picked partners and labeled them. So that is all set up for me, good to go. So now I'm going to actually solve. So when I look at the top and the bottom, I see that the bottom is a three by six. So that means the top is a three by six. That's done. Measurements then for my next thing is the front and the back. Here's my front, here's the back. This one doesn't have the sizes written next to it except for this shows me that this is two up top with this arrow and it has the same height as the back so it's a two by six. So then the last one is that left and right and this right side shows that this is two and the left shows that it's by three so it's a two by three so then what I know is for the top and bottom I have 18 and 18 18 for the top 18 for the bottom for the front and the back it's a two by six so that'd be 12 for the front and 12 for the back and then for the left and the right, it's a two by three, so that's a six and a six. So then when I add all this up, I have 18 and 18, 12 and 12, six and six. So then when I look at that, I'm gonna actually do some grouping. So I know 18 and 12 is 30, and 18 and 12 is 30, and six and six is 12, so that means I have 30 plus 30 plus 12, which 30 and 30 is 60, plus 12 gives me 72 centimeters squared. So, um, first I have my three measurements are three, five, and four. So I'm gonna decide first top and bottom. So I'm just gonna look at these shapes and I'm gonna say, okay, well, when I look at these, I'm gonna call this, oops, I'm gonna call, sorry guys, my stuff is kind of all over the place. I'm gonna call this top. I'm going to call this bottom, I'm going to call this front and this back, and then I'll call my last one left and right. Okay, so let's start with top and bottom. Top shows a 5 wide by 4 tall, so it's a 5 by 4. When I switch to front and back, um, I see the same width as the top of 5, but now I see a height of 3. So I have a five by three, and then my left and my right, I see a three by, it has the same width as the other one, so five. So I have a three by five as well. So then I have five and four is 20, so top and bottom are each 20. Then I go to front and back, which is 15 and 15. And then my left and right were that same dimension. Um, and I got 15 and 15. And so, oops. Actually, you guys, I think it's a 3 by 4. And I'm sure some of you are like, oh, Miss Law, you got it wrong. I made a mistake. It's a 3 by 4. I see 3 by 4. So we're going to say 12 and 12. So then when I do the math for here, 20 and 20 is 40. 15 and 15 is 30, 
12 and 12 is 24. 40 and 30 is 70. Plus 24 gives me 94 centimeters squared. Okay, so it's going to be really simple. You're going to do two surface area solves, but you're going to use nets this time. Okay, so make sure that you find top, bottom, front, back, left, right. Add all six numbers together. Find your final answer. Okay, if you have questions, reach out. I'll talk to you soon.